Who's there? I can feel you watching me from a place beyond my sight. Whoever you are, please tell me. Does our world pique your interest? Pardon my curiosity, but would you tell me your name? That is to say, tell me who you really are. The one who meets my eyes across a strange threshold. heard in our world, which suggests to me you might reside in a world beyond ours. It is a curious thing that in your eyes, my entire world is but the dawn of a story yet untold. Or to put it another way, this is a fantasy, but can it truly be dismissed as something so far removed from you? If indeed you wish to cross to our world for a time, I would first ask that you indulge one question. Is fantasy limited to the confines of imagination? Would you call it a powerless creation? A passing daydream, an idle creation of a distracted mind. That must be how you see it. I confess my own answer still eludes me. But consider, if fantasy is born from hope, a desire to make the world better than it is, then that hope can be made manifest. Thus does change come, and thus is fantasy forged into a new reality. Perhaps the story about to unfold before you will tell us. I'm thoroughly invested now myself. So, let this tale begin. Looks like we're in the clear. The capital's just through this desert. Is it true that <clears throat> the king is dead? Aye, and the guards are more concerned with the funeral than keeping the roads safe. So now the monsters are roaming in broad daylight. No soldiers to stop them. Monsters, huh? I've certainly been hearing the stories. <laughs> to say nothing of the vacant throne. There's a storm coming. Mark my words. That much is certain. What's the problem? They're bandits! Come on, let's see some respect for the militia! Us folk, we're commoners! No crown or church will save us! But Lord Luis will save us one and all. All we ask is a little tribute. You're with us or against us? And if you're against us... Uh, an igniter? Uh, how'd they get rid of those? <laughs> come on, come on! Hey, keep it moving! That's what! Look at you. What have we got here? He's an elder. So he is. No horns, no knife is. Filthy gremlin like you. What you got in the capital? <laughs> oh, what's this? Looks like you've been holding out on us, boy. Hold it! <laughs> Should have listened to us, chum. <laughs> now fall in line! Let's want to get stuck like us! <laughs> you drew steel. I take it you are prepared to die by it. <laughs> Stand aside! <laughs> Oh! 
Ugh, this place already feels like a death trap. You hear all that stuff about Lord... Lord Luis saving us? Hey, you okay? You still got all your limbs attached? Well, at least they didn't figure out our mission. Definitely could have gone worse. What mission? Come on! This is no time for jokes. You do know that if anyone finds out who we really are, it's all over, right? The mission's more important than either of our lives. If we screw this up, there's no going back. Think we'll make it? Ugh. Let's go. Stop! Watch out! Okay? Strong one, too. We gotta be careful. Stay vigilant. These ones aren't messing around. Strong ones ahead. We gotta be careful. They look pretty tough. Careful now. Checking, but you do remember what we're here to do, right? Right. <laughs> what am I doing again? Oh, I don't know. The mission that's more important than our own lives? First, we get to the Royal Capital and get you enlisted as a guardsman at the Army's Recruitment Center. This could decide the fate of the whole country. We either do our jobs or we die. And if it's all the same to you, I'd rather stay alive. So we've got to see this mission through. Come on. We don't want the sun to go down on us in the wastes. Let's pull ourselves together and get back on the road. You know what they say. Anxiety breeds the world's cruelest monsters. I mean, fairies say that at least. I can at least cast my usual spell for you. It's the small comforts, right? Right. Music was the first magic this world ever knew, after all. Makes the road a little easier. Let's go. Got a sec? Yep, we're safe here. Not like this. You can't die! Please, don't! Will your tale end here? Got a sec? Yep, we're safe here.
Get on with it, then. Drop the dog. Hang him dead. Please! I've done nothing wrong! Dying dog! Don't try to deny it! You trample the law for the fun of it! Let it be known, for misuse of an igniter, you will hang by the neck until dead! <laughs> There's no way that crowd was going to listen to anything a Paribus said. <sighs> Such a shame. Why you spare some coin? <laughs> Bless you. <laughs> oh, careful! Hurry! <laughs> uh, don't you have any street smarts? Come on, kid. <laughs> Look, we're not tourists here. We've got to stay focused. Right. You noticed back on the wagon? You might be the only elder here, in the whole city even. The capital is incredible. Just look at all the different tribes. You never see this kind of diversity out in the countryside. Not that it's very balanced. I see more Plumars and Roussants than anyone else. Which means a dopey Elda kid's gonna stick out like a sore thumb. Try to keep your head down, okay? Hey, did you hear what they're saying about His Majesty? They say it wasn't illness at all. I heard it was foul play, assassination. Shh, careful who hears you say that. But it's just like the prince, isn't it? They say he was attacked in the dead of night. A war of succession is coming, I tell you. Sounds like monsters have been prowling the countryside. They're sending the guard out to deal with them. The army's really gone to hell. It's a far cry from when we had Count Luis at the helm, I'll tell you that much. Hard to see how the nation can come back from this. We'd not have to ask if the prince was still alive. <sighs> The king dead, his son stricken. Are there none left to bear the weight of the crown? We've done all in our power, but not even the kingdom's best. The saint could purify this affliction. Over 10 years he has languished under this curse. How much longer can his body hold out? No doubt his highness would protest, but uh, since he cannot, we have no choice. For the man who cursed his highness and murdered our king, there can be no mercy. I never thought I would have to ask this of you. But there are so few of us left now. There is no one else to turn to. Will you infiltrate the military to deliver a message to our contact there? This is your mission. For all our sakes, you cannot fail. Hey, are you listening? Well, I guess I can't blame you for feeling nostalgic. You and the prince were pretty close. Anyway, getting to the capital was only the beginning. Now comes the real high-stakes part. You gotta go get enlisted, so you can meet up with our operative. Remember, nobody here knows who we are. Nobody here knows the prince might still have a claim to the throne. That means if we get busted, that's it. Nobody's gonna save us. Step one, let's figure out where the recruitment center is. Shouldn't be too hard, considering the need for soldiers. So? Whatever will I do? All right, then. An elder? Here? Look at that. The new model's out now. I could be out there slinging spells like a master if I had one of those. I guess that's the big city for you. Everyone and their mother has a magic igniter. So many different types, too. Now I want one for myself. Yeah, until you see the price tag. 
can't imagine what it's like having to wave around some shiny stick to use magic. Me? I can whip out magic anytime I like. And I can even see the magla in the air. Though, I'm not exactly an archmage. Wonders never cease. A fairy and an elden child. Are you new to our fair city? Well, I suggest you keep a low profile. Trust me when I say, you don't want to catch the eyes of the lords and ladies. Ah, but I'm getting ahead of myself. I run this humble shop. Are you in the market for an igniter? Here's something that might catch a foreigner's eye. This is modeled after the royal scepter and would make the perfect souvenir. How much is it? You're not really going to fall for that, are you? How would you even know what the Royal Scepter looks like to begin with? You've really never heard of it. Wow. Where do I even start? Uh... A symbol and instrument of the Crown's sovereignty. Passed down through generations. If you believe the legends, it houses incredible magic world-shattering power. More practically, you might call it the world's most potent magic igniter. And in the king's hands, it was enough of a deterrent to stave off invasion. Now he's dead, with no living heir either. Tragic, isn't it? Kingly magic is of little use without a king. You picked a bad time to visit, boy. I don't know why you're here. But there's trouble brewing. I'll keep that in mind. A word of caution, then. Your survival is your own responsibility. Well, that was unnecessarily ominous. She has a point, though. We'll need to be careful. Anyway, we don't have time to hang around chatting with the locals. We've got a recruitment office to find. Let's head there. Give me the food, I say. Who else can it do? Hmm. Oh. <sighs> what are you playing at? Hmm. I'm out of ideas. Hear me. That must be the recruitment center. I'll let you take it from here. It should be pretty straightforward. Oh, and if they start asking questions, just be as honest as you can. Lying will only make us more suspicious. So long as you don't compromise the mission, you're fine. Good luck in there. Knock them dead. Okay, you got this. <laughs> A blue blood, are you? The army's no place for velvet swaddled lordlings. Why are you here? Perhaps your noble family collapsed under its own weight. Is that it? Lineage seems a strange measure for a so I'm looking to enlist. Is that enough for you or not? An uppity one, aren't you? Fine, lordling. Welcome to the guard where it'll be your privilege to die screaming and bloody in service of your country. But mark my words, war will turn your arrogance to piss. When your corpse is plucked from the mud, do try to look patriotic. Rousing words, Captain. You think threats will buy loyalty? No wonder nobody respects the guard anymore. But I'm here now, so perhaps the kingdom isn't a lost cause. Insolent pub! You will learn your place. Don't. The healers have enough on their plates already. <sighs> be gone, and be thankful you're still in one piece. All right, next. Hurry it up. Hmm, an elder. I thought your kind was long gone. Age 18. An orphan, too. The army can always use more of those. So, what brings you to enlist? I need the money. <laughs> Pragmatic, if nothing else. But I suppose a vagrant like you could use the work. 
So, what can you bring to our beloved core? Any skills to speak of? I'm stronger than I look. <laughs> With arms like that, you'd have to be. Right, last order of business. Make your mark or sign your name if you're actually literate. Get some use out of you yet. All right, lad. Welcome to the guard. Yes! I'm sure you heard about the monster sighting, so stay sharp out there. We're short-handed as it is, so be a good lad and try not to get killed on your first deployment. You can pick up your kit at reception. Standard issue guardsman armor and igniter. Kingdom property. So if you break it, it's coming out of your commission. On your way now. Up to. Next! <sighs> Whatever. Uh -huh. Well. I heard they get. Sightings. What? Of those huge monsters? You think that's why we're low on soldiers? Wish they'd have told us that. What do they call them? Something like, um, human. Next! Another Clamar. Wait. No. You don't look like the others. Surely not. An elder? It's the first of your kind I've seen. Move it. There's a priority around here. We're arming squires and children with igniters now. Waste of good gear. Spare off in my hands. Give it here. Brute force and crude insults. The world is yours for the taking. Care to say that again, boy? We all have our reasons to enlist. Now get back in line. Oh, another high and mighty Clamar, is it? You think your pretty words will measure up to pure Roussant strength? Oh, forget the tribes. This is a matter of pride. Now, you owe us both an apology. Come on, no fighting in the ranks. <sighs> Sorry for making a scene. You all right? Thanks. You didn't have to do that. Just felt like stepping in. Don't worry about it. Well, see you around. Try not to die out there. Don't make my job any harder, please. Here, your igniter. These days, most come with their own magma crystals. So with practice, anyone can use magic. To an extent, anyway. It's not the sort of thing you can master in a day. For now, newbies like you best focus on surviving. Mm. Mm. And take this too. Protect it with your life. Wow, that's a real map. It's dangerous to even chart the wilds, but this is full of details. Only the military could pull this together. Listen up, striplings. My name is Captain Klinger. And as of this moment, you miserable lot are under my command. I'm sure you've all heard about our forces being tied up with the funeral proceedings for His Majesty. But if you think you're on cushy security detail, think again. First, you will be deployed to a fortress at the northern border, where you will be trained into true guards. Our veterans there will teach you the one thing you need to master if you're to survive. Hey. Perfect. That's exactly where our contacts hold up. Enjoy tonight's sleep, because it's the last full night's rest you'll get. Dismissed!
look at all the other recruits. They really are desperate for new blood. Oh, right. I know you don't know what our contact looks like yet. But he'll know you by your sword. He'll also know right away why we've come. And don't worry, I'll recognize him. Well, the charming captain is probably right. We should get some rest before tomorrow. Um, hey. You awake? Yeah, I'm awake. Sorry to bug you. Look, I just... have a lot on my mind. Can't seem to fall asleep. I'd heard about what it was like in the capital, but still... When you hear and see all this prejudice out in the open? It's a lot. You okay? It never gets easier. Yeah, I could tell. Try to put it behind you, okay? Some people are even saying it's the lesser tribe's fault that the monsters are showing up at all. These are the same kind of people who burned down your village, remember? That was a long time ago. Yeah, but still, the prince was kind to take you in. He cared more about who you were than what you were. I can see why you'd want to repay him. Oh, speaking of, he's the one who gave you that book, right? Can I see it? Sure, I guess. I gotta say, I've been curious. Thanks. It's what you call a fantasy story, right? So it's a fantasy world made up by the author. The prince loved those kinds of stories. Okay, let's see. It says the young traveler was amazed by the world he saw. In this world, there is only one tribe. All people accept each other, and no soul is born into discrimination. Wow. So not even any fairies? I guess less differences means less to argue over. In such a world, there is no need for sorcery. A megapolis is built through learning and labor. Towers of glass that reach the heavens. Safe nights with no dark shadows. Busy streets well traveled. And in the laws of these emotionally satisfied people, it reads, all lives are equal. Wow. You see, no magic, no tribal conflict, and equality for all? It really does sound like a fantasy, but it's strange to feel envious of a fictional world. Hey, are you asleep already? You know how hard it is for me to turn these pages on my own? Ugh. <sighs> well, guess I'll just read more later. Good night. Shouldn't you be resting? I'm fine. In fact, I'm glad we have this chance to talk. I've been reading, and I hope that someday we can make our kingdom like the place in this book. You said it was some kind of fantasy novel, didn't you? Mm. Our lives are decided at birth, by tribal purity, or by the differences that make us who we are. I don't want that to be the world we live in. The Elder here are a perfect example. If you'd not sheltered me, I would never have survived. And yet... They burned your home down. It's tragic. And no one should have to suffer so. Someone needs to fix... <coughs> you okay? <coughs> Don't push yourself so hard. Reality is much too cruel. I know that. But I'll fight it. I'll fight to the end. I'm a prince. But I need to be a hero. One worthy of the throne. A hero? One who can lead. A beacon who will pierce the darkness when all seems lost. My father taught me that. In his stories, the kingdom was full of legendary heroes. So I can't give up. In my ideal world, people can believe in their future. Their birth doesn't matter. 
Not that I expect it will be easy. I believe in you. <laughs> Familiar words. When I'm down, when I struggle, you're always there to help me through it. <sighs> huh? Let's do it. You'll be a hero. Trust me. I won't give up either. Trust me. Until arrival at the northern border fort, one day remains. Let's see. This hey, don't forget. Okay then. The carriage transporting the new recruits arrives at its destination. The northern border fort. The towering fortress was built during the Annex War in the mountains at the edge of the territory. Even now, soldiers are sent there for its strategic importance to the royal capital and to combat the rising waves of monsters. Fresh-faced soldiers disembark from their coaches at the foot of a steep ascent to the fort, the first of many uphill battles. Hardly feel my legs. Listen well, you lackwits. The battlefield is no place to sit on your asses, and the border front is always a battlefield. The call to arms could sound at any time. Stand to, curs. You have the honor to serve at the command of Captain Klinger, war hero, tactician, master of arms. When I earn rank in the trenches, forged in the blood of my comrades. Spare us this drivel. Say, friend, I'm curious. What is it about that book that's captivated you so? It's interesting. It tells the tale of a world with no magla arts. A peaceful one. A world with no magla arts would be better, would it? I, I admit. I'm intrigued. So it's describing a better world. A utopia, perhaps. I'm something of a reader myself, but that's not like any book I've read. You know, when the late king took the throne, he was quite the idealist himself. He made grand claims about unifying the people under his rule. Never managed to do it in the end, of course. Reform takes more than high-minded, eloquent speeches. Maybe he was too blind to see that himself. Listen to you, a babe with his first sword, thinking he knows better than a king. Keep your mouth shut. No one cares what you think. Oh, nobody asked you. Something to say? Go on. I'm listening. If it's a fight you want, draw your blade. <laughs> Didn't think you'd just challenge me straight out. You've got guts for a lesser tribesman. Well, Clamar, 
I'll let it go this time. But only because I like your friend. Next time, keep your complaining to yourself. That's the last thing I need. Though I suppose I deserved it in part, speaking ill of the dead and all. My mouth tends to get ahead of my thoughts sometimes. Although, I'm glad a bad habit seems to have drawn us together. Oh, never got round to an introduction. I'm Stroll. Leon Stroll, son of the Count of Harlia. And you are? That's my name. I have that right? It's got a certain weight to it. For what it's worth, my title doesn't mean much. Here and now, we're peers and equals. By the skin of my teeth! Now, um, where was I? Right, as for you, fresh meat. Someone, help! Is that a, a soldier? Hey, speak to me, man. What happened? Listen, stay on guard. Is it's too. <sighs> Not one of mine. Must be one of the fort's guard. Those damn vultures across the border. They must have heard about the king's death. Anyway, to the fort. Double time. I'll stay behind to uh, see to the poor bastard's wounds. You want us to go on ahead? Alone? Shouldn't we at least send a team back to ask for... I knew fear would take you at the first step. You want to turn tail? Are you a traitor to the cause? The guard has no place for cowards. You are part of His Majesty's royal army. Swallow your fear, fight with pride, and we'll all have medals this time tomorrow. He's right. We're warriors. Up there is our first chance of glory and riches. Damned if I'm gonna waste it. Let's go. Damn it! Well, I suppose this is what we signed up for. Onward, to the fort then. Hey, I've got a bad feeling about this. It's hard to explain, but it's like there's... a stench in the air, and it's getting stronger. Hey, did something happen? Wait, is that a... fairy? Did you catch it yourself? She's with me. Yes, and I have a name, by the way. It's Gallica. So you travel together? You've stayed well hidden for quite a while. Well, I didn't want anyone making a fuss. But we've got bigger problems right now. I can't shake this feeling. We gotta be careful. Agreed. I'll follow orders, but I'm not about to let this armchair general send me to my death. Let's take a moment, then head in once we're prepared. I assume you know how to use an igniter properly? I'm not so sure. He's never used one before. I mean, he's a commoner, so not much chance to. Fair enough. Well, just stay behind me and you'll be all right. I swear I won't let you die. I'm with you. Oh, this is bad. I didn't think you'd actually have to fight anyone. I just hope our contact in the fort's okay. Let's keep our guard up and hope we find out. Here we go. Actually, I see. Survivors! <laughs> oh. Damn it. Oh. Hurry! 
This is bad. What? What do you think? Huh. Got it? Take care of it, please. Things will be fine. <laughs> Let's give him a fight! Give him my own. I think we're in the clear. Damn! 
tremendous power. It's horrible! I can't believe what I'm seeing! We can't let it get away with this! We have to hold it off somehow! Damned humans! It was all because of them! We'll just have to make it work! I won't hold back! Vile monster! You're mine! The power of fire! What's going on? It didn't even flinch! Damn it all! I'm not going down like this! Burn to us! How is it this strong? I'll destroy- But! Above all else, I am a noble. And a noble defends his people, no matter the cost. Farewell. If you would repay me, then live. Be a fool. Just run for it. <sighs> oh, fate, subtle child. Oh, anguished traveler. Uh. <laughs> thy fate is crown twined, thy soul bound for the uh. throne. A future yet unknown dawns in this moment. <laughs> thy path may fork, but only one may be chosen. Confront the threat before thee, or die here in obscurity. Now choose. I choose. <laughs> so be it. Heroism lies in the soul that stands firm against its fears. Power awaits thy command. The time is come to awaken the hero within. Engrave thy very heart. of a wanderer.
eating its own fruit to heal? We can't kill it fast enough! It's King! Seeker! I can't believe it's eating from its own body! Wind! Can you knock those out? Right. Oh, that. It's done! Let's go! We've got to hit the other spot, too! Scour! By this power! Wind! A tough one! Nice Not like they could get you with that! If we don't take out those apple things, I think we'll regret it. You know, maybe there's something I can do. Understood. Leave it to me. Now it can't heal itself anymore. Don't waste your chance. Stay in there. Scour. which thy strength is drawn. Yet fear and anxiety always trail in such a wish's wake. Since time immemorial, those we call heroes have earned the title through this order. They pursued their wishes and boldly walked a path of virtue. What thou hast awakened is the true spirit of a hero. The power that lies dormant in all of us. The power to reforge the fear of the unknown into curiosity. If thou wouldst change the world by thine own hand, take this newfound power and venture forth. Thy journey shalt reveal thy soul's mission. What was that voice? And you! What was that power you used? You had a metal heart, and your whole body was... It was crazy! Ah... Uh, ah... Uh. That stroll guy is still alive! I'll be damned. Someone actually survived. That voice... Grius! Oh, thank goodness you're alive! Gallica! You made it! He's our man on the inside. The one I'm delivering the message to. He's badly hurt. You, boy! Lend me your shoulder. We'll need to carry him. The smell of blood will draw out the beasts. Let's not hang about. The lad's out cold, but he'll live. We should be fine if we take a moment's rest here. Oh, you're a sight for sore eyes, Grius. Just wish it were under better circumstances. We're both alive, and you can't ask for much better in these parts. Sorry I couldn't join you in the fray. So, this is our newcomer, eh? How'd this boy manage to command power like that? It's like nothing I've ever seen. Do you know anything about it? 
I might. For now, the mission comes first. Ah, right. I'd better just get straight to the message. Grius, you have a new mission. Avenge the king. And kill Luis Guiaburn. Well, good. It's about damn time. No scheming nobles haven't said so publicly, but every soldier knows it was nothing natural that killed the king. Damn that, Luis. Couldn't stop at one royal, could he? Wait, there's more. The prince is getting worse. We're running out of time. Here, look. I brought a treasure from the village. They called it a farsight mirror. You need to see the prince's condition for yourself. His highness won't last much longer. Those thorns are thick enough to claim him. Louise cast the curse, so killing him is the only way to lift it. If we wait any longer, they're just gonna crown a new king. But who's Louise? Is that a real question? About 15 years ago, a child enlisted in the army. But it wasn't his age that had people talking. It was his ruthless military genius. Hero to some, monster to others. Luis Guillaburn, a prodigal tactician and a master of magla arts. Some said it was only a matter of time before he made general. The youngest the nations had. Until he attacked the prince. That night, when the prince's quarters were breached, it was no ordinary mage who cast that fatal curse. It was Luis Guiaburn himself. But the son's death wasn't enough for him. Now he's got the father's blood on his hands. And if that king-slaying fiend ends up on the throne, we're all doomed. But when we were exploring the royal capital, there were a lot more Luis supporters than I expected. How can they still trust him after all that? Luis is cunning. He left no evidence. Accuse him as you will, or the allegations wouldn't stick. All they could do was send him as far away as possible. A post in the middle of nowhere. Plenty of soldiers never believed the charges in the first place. When they look at him, they see a capable veteran unjustly made into the noble scapegoat. Most think the Royal Army was at its best when he was in charge. And in truth, it's hard to deny. Without him, we'd never have crushed the rebel uprising so quickly. Damn the man. But he's earned his titles. He's mastered the blade, magic, and he's clearly intelligent. To the masses who want change, he seems the savior they need. If even you're that worried about him, then this isn't going to be easy. That's a hell of a mission. And I want in. So that's your game, eh? Pretend to sleep, eavesdrop on the plan. You're a fool to give yourself away. If you want my blood, then let your blade strike true. I'm not going to run. Not from you, and not from a chance to do what's right. Look, Grius, he saved our lives back there. And it sounds like we could use the help. Seems like kind of a waste to kill him. Especially if he's volunteering. <sighs> then answer me this. The boy's all but a stranger to you. Yet you risk your life to save him. Why? I would live, fight, and die a noble, sir. To have done otherwise would betray my title, to say nothing of my heart. There, I'm losing my edge. Make me regret this, and I will slay you where you stand. You'll let him help us? Right then. My life and sword are yours. As far as the rest of the world's concerned, you perished in that castle. You'll find the job ahead will be easier for a dead man. Your lives are kept only by the blades in your hands. And you'll raise them at my command. We have to. Luis will also be at the royal funeral. If we are not back to the capital by then, we lose our chance at his head. But no main roads. That'll mean checkpoints and questions. We're bound for a different route. We'll cut through the abandoned mine up ahead to save us going the long way round. For tonight, see to your wounds. We'll leave at first light. But I'm counting on you. 
Feels like the mission is finally starting. Let's set up our camp then. Now, we should finally be able to get some rest. This is your first deployment, boy. Thank your lucky stars you survived a brush with a human. What the hell was that? It was like no beast I've ever seen. No one truly knows. They're protected by Magla, so even the sharpest steel does little good against them. They're no simple beast. All we do know is with every passing year, more of their kind tear travelers apart. That was why I was first sent undercover here, investigating. And? Did you learn anything? Simmer down, boy. There wasn't a damn thing to be found on those monsters. Ah. <sighs> well, the moon's still low. If you've any other questions, now's the time. Can't think of anything. Come on, there's gotta be something. Whatever's on your mind. Kingslayer or no, Luis has a lot of public favor behind him. To the people, he's the only man with the wit and war power to bring down humans. The military seems powerless to stop them, so he plays savior. The man's practically a monster himself. By your age, he was not only a master tactician, but damn near an archmage besides. And the three of us alone are supposed to stop him? We'll just have to blend in with the crowd at the funeral. I won't abide him surviving the ceremony. He will die by my hand. Uh. Oh. Hmm. Huh? Indeed. I see. Well... Can't sleep? Guess I'm not surprised after what we just went through. Still, you've got to keep yourself rested to be at your best. I know, I will. I wanted to tell you though, when the human attacked, I heard a strange voice. It told me my duty would be to guide you. What do you think it meant? I mean, I haven't exactly been much of a guide so far. All I told you was that we had to deliver our message, and that almost got you killed. I never expected it would be this dangerous, and it feels kind of like it's my fault. It's not your fault. You say that, but look, I can't fight with you. But as long as you're up against all this scary stuff, I'll try to help however I can. You've got something special, you know. I don't know what it is just yet, but I believe in you. Oh, hey, uh, you know what insomnia is good for? Catching up on reading. If only our lives were anything like the world in your novel. It's just war after war here, with magla arts fueling the flames, but it's a nice fantasy. Enjoy it while you can. Good night. Well, hello. Nice to meet you. I've been waiting. And now you've acquired the most interesting power. You truly are an intriguing one. Fascinating. In the moments where your heart is most gripped by the book, I can reach out to you. My name is Moore, and I am the humble author of the novel you've been reading. You stand now in my study. Quite something, isn't it? A hall of wisdom, purpose built for the research of certain powers. I call it academia. Alas, it's as much a prison as it is a library. 
His most merciful majesty saw fit to lock me in this place. It has me a bit addled, honestly. I no longer remember where in the kingdom my study actually lies. I never imagined my voice would reach beyond these walls. Until you appeared. And now, by whatever strange forces are afoot, I can speak directly to your mind. So, what would you say to an alliance? What kind of alliance? There must be more you wish to know. For instance, the nature of this fascinating power you have awakened. I believe you have found a way to wield true magic. You need no petty conduit of mortal make. You can even change your appearance using the raw magma within. It is above all a mystic, long-hidden art. Now the stuff of legend. What I have come to call archetypes. Archetypes? A spirit of heroic virtue. Heroes of antiquity are often depicted as near mythic figures, with forms transcending the mortal. These accounts are no mere allegory, but truth. However, none of my records describe anyone wielding such power as freely as you. Perhaps you are meant for not just proficiency, but mastery. In their truest form, Archetypes represent the power of a true hero. One who can drive away calamity and evil in this world, no matter its form. Indulge me this request, and I believe my dream may yet be possible. Together, we can restore the kingdom's ideals. I shall gladly provide you knowledge and assistance to master your newfound power. So what say you? Will you take my hand in friendship? Okay. The bargain is struck then. The scholar in search of Utopia, more. Within him dwells the virtue of the seeker. Nurture thy bond with him, and a new power yet slumbering within thee may awaken. Now let's see what manner of story you'll leave. We'll meet again, I'm sure. Here's to our joined path, and the thrills that yet lie ahead. The royal funeral draws ever closer. Five days remain. Already then? From here on, we travel in secret. If we are to get back into the capital, we'll have to do it undetected. So we'll cut through the forest, find the abandoned mine shaft in the mountain, and take the tunnel to the other side. That way, they'll never see us coming, huh? Lad, you'll be our vanguard. It'll be a trial by fire, but the sooner you get used to that power, the better. Speaking of, you were talking like you know something about it. Mm, not much. Just what I've picked up from missions in the early days. I've only heard it's a power found in those who walk a righteous path. Sounded like superstition to me, but everything's always clearer on the battlefield. Once I saw it in action, I could tell it was no fable. Never thought it'd come back to haunt me. Despite all my training and research, I never managed to master it myself. Huh. It really is something special, then. Don't forget. One wrong move, and I'll cut you down. I'm aware. I'm watching you. Yes, I get it. Just trust me, all right? Right. Let's check the map. This'll all be for nothing if we get lost. This place... That being the case... All right. This place... <laughs> Don't let your guard down. Good. The Nord Mines. It's... Egg
It appears we must. I've never fought soldiers before. But I won't waver. Scour! <laughs> what is that? Never seen anything like it! That's not an igniter! <laughs> it's our turn now! Blast! What's that? I think something's uh, coming! Watch take out! Take this! Uh, tougher than I thought! No mercy for you! Uh, coming at us! Are you all right? I told you. 
but it's seen our deserts. Please, don't kill me. What? Why? To send a message, boy. Either we give ourselves up, or these innocents pay the price. But the only one who could know we survived, and the only one who could send soldiers after us. Oh, come on, let's move. <laughs> Stop right now! I can't yet. believe this. <laughs> No way. I knew I'd find you here. You were the only one who never went up to the fort itself, after all. It couldn't have been anyone else. Who would have thought three sorry stragglers would make it past a whole unit of assassins? Bastard! You never intended for anyone to survive. You knew the human would be there! Naturally. You heard the reports. I only put more bait on the hook. I wasn't expecting that damn thing to be rampaging already. You sent those soldiers to their deaths. Why? Because the Kingdom's Guard is powerless before the humans, and only a pile of bodies will prove that to the public. So someone wants the King's Guard disgraced, and when the people need him most, a savior rises as their shield. Is that your game? Savior? Speak plain, boy. You think he's one of Luis's men? A pitiful flock needs its shepherd. If a little blood is what it takes to show them who their real savior is, then that's a price easily paid. That's why those sons and daughters die. For your savior. <laughs> they aren't the first. The soldiers cry for reinforcements. The villagers plead to be spared. But I know better than to confront a human. A... a village? You refused. Wait, then you were the one who... Seven years ago, the first flames day of June, a village in the northern hills was razed to the ground. A village called Harlia. Hmm? Oh yes, that might have been a name. Then you made a fatal mistake, Klinger. You left one survivor! Stay back! Help me! Ugh. You played right into our hands, you know. <clears throat> this was the only road without checkpoints. A simple deduction. You're a disgrace to your title. I may not make it out alive, but as for you, you're hopeless! O oh, thou who art seared with bitterness, O oh, thou anguished traveler, it is time for thou to choose thy path. O oh, Lodestar, whose light reveals the king's own path, awaken! Without him, I've got nothing left. You struggle in vain. I won't let you rob me of my glory. This is the way of the real world, little lordling. You call this real? Leaders abandon their people, and the innocent die by their scorn. If that's the real world, then it can die alongside you. <laughs> My name is Leon Stroll de Haliatus. My home and my family were taken from me. I am the last of my house. I am the last of my noble bloodline. 
And in the name of my people, I will strike you down where you stand! I will show you a world with honor! What is this? Wait! He's got power like yours now? Well, better show him how to use it! I don't know what you think you're doing, but I'll not cave to an empty threat like that! This ignite is all I need to turn you to ash! You lot, get to it! Cover me! So he scampers off to protect himself, and his subordinates get to be his living shields. The man's showing his true colors. I'll fix the filthy coward with the end he deserves. The Igniter's powerful, but it takes care and calculation to wield. If you sense danger, steal your defenses and endure it. The freedom of a want. Wind! Take this! Oh, let's go! Die! Oh, please! Struggle all you like. Warrior! I'll cut you down! <laughs> Not done yet! <laughs> 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 I tire of this. Warrior! I can slash. I will fight come forth, royal soul. Scour! Take this! You Die! 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 You! You! Are you prepared? Please. Okay, I'll strive for greater heights. I admit, it feels good to get stronger. Him, push. Ah. Never expected a commissioned officer would end up a wild-eyed zealot. How? How did I do all that? And without an igniter? Just like him? Who are you two, really? I... I'm Leon Strahl. Just a fallen noble from the countryside. Back there, Klinger mentioned a village that was raised by a human. They sent for help, but he abandoned them. Halia was its name. I'm the son of its lord. And now I know what really happened. We sent our fastest riders, but... We were doomed from the start. If Luis was behind it, then that's all I need to know. He's the one who will answer for it. I have my own reason to fight now. I don't want to be an ally of convenience alone, so once more, please, let me join your cause. What do you say, Grius? I see. Keeping an eye on you was too much trouble in the first place. So you've no objections? What say you, friend? You're already one of us. Thank you. I'll remember this. Now, onward. The proud noble, Stroll. Within him dwells the virtue of the warrior. Nurture thy bond with him, and a new power yet slumbering within thee may awaken. Together we stand. Did you feel that just now? What's going on? Does it have something to do with that odd magic? Now that I think about it, once you awakened, 
Isn't it weird that Stroll followed not long after? What does this mean? Huh? Wait, what? Hey, where are we? What just happened? Surprising indeed. Somehow you find yourself here once more. And a fairy. I thought their kind long extinct. Do they yet take refuge in the Elden Sanctum? Hey, you gonna talk to me or just at me? We meet again, my friend. Though admittedly sooner than I'd expected. Remarkably, another has awakened. What miracle is this? Yes, that same power now stirs in your companion. Another of the mighty archetypes. Do you recall our discussion earlier? about how archetypes are an original form of magic. Um, well, more or less. Consider this. As an elder, you are an outcast of society, yes? Your very identity is a kind of destiny you may defy but not escape. All mortals suffer under the weight of our burdens. But in facing and embracing that anxiety, you make it your innermost power. You find freedom. And so, the lives of those who overcome their hardships and embody the virtues within are passed down as heroic tales. Your companion, too, had his eyes open to his true path and claimed its virtue. That awakening is your doing, though. He awakened to the archetype that protects you. Hey, hold on a second! Who even are you? How much do you know? I'm warning you, if you mess with him, you're gonna have to go through me! Ah. You two share quite a deep connection, don't you? Well, we didn't always. But now we're partners to the end. We're linked down to the depths of our hearts. Right? Right. We trust each other. I've got his back and he's got mine. And that's all there is to it. The mystical fairy, Gallic Nut. I won't lead you astray. That's the whole reason I'm here. Hey, wasn't that... Fascinating. Do you understand what just happened? By connecting with others who have found their resolve, you awaken to new strength. And further, you and all your allies may fight with the strength of any archetype in your circle. As an example, your other companion, the fellow with the eye patch. He seems to have some training and knowledge regarding the wielding of an archetype. By his own account, nothing came of it. Yet if you so desire it, you can awaken the true power within him. What? You mean Rias could use this power too? The nature of the Seeker. No. Perhaps it is simply your own nature. You truly are remarkable. If you seek answers, then go and claim them. This right here. Now then. This here. I see.
This power. <sighs> this power. <sighs> I see. This right here. I didn't think I could grow anymore. Fascinating. What now? yourself at home. the lineage of power's greatest after all only a ch what where are we you two all right there looked as if you were in some kind of trance trance wait have we been here this whole time it was strange as if i felt something in the air my senses sharp and near tenfold. It reminded me of my old days studying magic. What? So that wasn't a dream? Grius, that's probably his power. You studied back at the Sanctum, right? I know you couldn't get the hang of it then, but... I think we might have just awakened it. Awakened it? But that? Who are you people? The truth, if you would. Look, in all honesty, we barely know any more than you do. But the short version is... Well... I think you can use that power now. Uh, I think you might be right. The way it feels is... Uh, well, this is magic, eh? I'd all but given up on it, but... Fate had other plans, it seems. Enough. We must move on. There is far to go still. And lad, I follow your lead now, at least when it comes to how we use these skills in battle. We haven't the luxury of time to train with magic. Same here. You've clearly got a sense for this, and I'd rather make myself useful than muddle your strategies. We've five days until the funeral. 
That's precious little time, and we'd best not waste it. Look! What's up? Huh? No holding back to a swift victory. I would hold by. Burn! I'll go for it. In the this name of the justice. Day. It's okay. I won't hold back. It's still up. No need to rush this. Uh, that didn't kidding? work. Getting a head start, thanks. Wish every fight was that easy, well. eh? That's a new one, even for me. I'm down. Thank you. Push down! This is our chance. Forward yeah. strike! You can take a shot at your weakness! Got other to a right, swift everyone. victory. Yes. Stay focused. Only one. Ah. Them off and we're clear. Burn. The next one will fall just as easily. We can't get sloppy. First moves out. Take no them all down in one I can slash. Please! Time to end this! In the name of just no holding back! Oh, one. I will fight come forth, royal soul! Win! Your guard's down! Hey. What? Attack with nullifying? 
Now, what's the play? All Understood. Right, I'll go all they die hard. Nice dodge. You've got some fancy footwork, Stroll. Your guard right down. That's how I survived this long. I think that's all of them. Let's go. I won't hold back. I can't. I shall vanquish evil. One left. Let's see what happens. No, no holding back. Can't back too much. Oh, please. myself. One Please minute. Have this hand. Oh, oh, not scour. done yet. You hate to see it. See, I shall rise to the edge. Much to that was the last of them. Look. <sighs> We won't lose Let this the fight. Let's begin. No right, holding back. Let's get it. Them right in Hack and slash. Sharp as Wind. always, Rhea. Your guard's down. Crystallize. Cut them right in I'll the cut you spot. down. Tougher than Sharp I thought. Let's go. Always, Rhea. Still here? Please! We got the nails on the You got this! Hopefully that's the last of them for a while. I 
give him my own. Give him a fight. No holding back. Let's keep this up. Three enemies oh, great. Great. Let's do this. Wind. Two yeah, remaining. Three. We've got nothing to worry about. One remaining. Only I can slash. your example. Some battles are hard. New ability. Brace yourself. To a swift victory. I'll cut you down. Crystallize. Pack and slash. Fight as the noble Such I am. As always, Stepping back, I call upon royal power within. Let's bug it some distance. Blades ready, lads. Great job, everyone. Talk about a close call. Closing the distance. Are you prepared? The free time for some close combat. I don't know their weakness. Guess we'll I won't hold back. Let me help. I owe you. To the front. Mage! Fades! Cut them right in the wind. In the neck, warrior! Start as always, Rias. Together. Oh, you're badly 
the play. This should work. Watch out! You can't really give up now. Together. No, not now! Get up! They took Take no them all down by. in one fell swoop! Hey! Hack and slash! Hey! Wake up! Crystallize! We're still in a fight here! I'll cut you down! Distancing myself. Hey, Changing stance. The drawer is I'll hold my ground. Easy knock. Talk about a close call. Closing in. Hey! Me! Hey! Wake up! I still want to fight here! Time to go offensive. I shall vanquish evil. This to Let's a swift victory. Him. Them right in the ah, As always, Grius. Hey! Hey! Wake up! We're still in a fight here! Here! Now, what's the Let's see how this plays out. Any means necessary. We're still in a fight here. I can't afford to hold back. Warrior! Perhaps not. Ah! This, this is too much. Take them all down by. in one fell swoop. Ah! They die hard. What can I do? Can anyone heal me? My best. Stop strong. Wasn't Someone enough get to a swift victory. Help them right Please. in the face. The right what is this crystal? By my guess, the monsters were drawn to its aura. We shouldn't leave something so sinister just lying around. All questions and answers, but there's no time to ponder them. We better move. You can't be serious.
Stone Bunny. Now then. Got it? Actually, made it out. And in one piece, no less. Speak for yourself. I think that shaved a couple years off my life. Damn storm. Can't afford too many delays, but we'll not be getting far in this torrent. We can make camp tonight and slip onto a carriage to the capital tomorrow once we're out of the wastes. We'll have to, if we want to make it in time. Public carriage seems a bit risky, doesn't it? Not with all the outsiders flocking in for the funeral. We'll be three faces among hundreds. Lovely. Another carriage ride. Hopefully this one's smoother than the last couple. Let's just get our camp set up. Somewhere dry, preferably. Ah, oh, this is so cozy. I feel alive again. It's certainly better than freezing. Reminds me of when I was a child. Back then, I wouldn't have been caught dead out in the wilderness like this. Countryside nobility like us had no fortune to speak of. My parents bowed and smiled for their money, and honestly, I despised them for it. Back then, I thought being a noble was about, I don't know, a life of prestige, being respected. But one spring seven years ago, our town was attacked by this horrific creature. A human. Though I had no idea at the time. I was evacuated alongside the servants while the rest of the town burned. I waited for my parents to join us in the shelter, but they would never come. Mm. The parents I'd so despised had stayed behind to protect the villagers who couldn't flee. Your parents were heroes. It changed everything. It taught me who my parents really were, what it really meant to be a noble. But our town's just rubble now. A footnote in history. The human that destroyed us is all we'll ever be known for. <sighs> I remember my father petitioning the capital for aid, but no reply came. Even knowing how much of a threat the humans were, now, I think, what if the army, well, Luis, what if he's the one who abandoned us? If we were just a pawn in his game, then, then I will make him pay. <sighs> hey, Grius, we all trust each other now, don't we? I think we can tell him. Aye, maybe you're right. I'll admit the lad's sword put me in mind of the past. Something special about that sword? Well, we used it to identify the messenger from our faction. But it originally belonged to his highness. 
a kingly gift from his father. To better suit his highness and his keen aptitude for magic, that blade was specially forged, with raw magla folded into the metal. Of course, when swordplay bored him, he'd amuse himself by levitating it or standing atop it to glide about. <laughs> the royal rascal, that one. In those days were all too short. Then, twelve years ago, it all came crashing down. I've heard. The prince was attacked, right? There was a plot on his life. One I wish I'd rooted out sooner. Just like tonight, it was pouring rain. Your Highness, this way! Who led these blackguards into the palace? My lord, are you hurt? Back! A royal knight. A wench and nothing more. You lazy! You know nothing of true knighthood. I pledged my life to the prince, and I'll not lose it to you! His Highness survived the attack, but the curse hanging over him was powerful and complex. Of all the mage healers in the capital, not one could wake him. And he grew weaker with each passing day. We might lift the curse if we knew the specifics of its formula, but Luis would never give that up. Which leaves but one way to dispel the curse. Its caster must die. And you're sure Luis is the man you seek? I saw him in the fray. He was younger then. Younger even than you are now. And shorter besides. I could never mistake him. And now, after spilling the royal blood of father and son both, the people call him not traitor, but saviour for his highness, for the king, and for the very future of this country. He must be dealt with. To kill Luis is to see justice served. I see. So as he did with the prince, he would make of my city a stepping stone to further heights. A tool to spread the infamy of the humans. You haven't told that story to many, have you? Thank you for trusting me with it. A rogue never forgets a debt. Even if it takes three generations, we'd see it repaid. But neither do we forget a grudge. And Luis will know that soon enough. So, that's what all this is about. Say, friend, this mission means a lot to you too, doesn't it? Yes, of course it does. You've been carrying a greater weight than I realized. In any case, I owe you my life. And we've both got something we'd fight to protect. Let's save this country. Together. Uh, ideally, once we're out of this cold, of course. I think it's about time we eat. We're almost to the capital, after all. 
I'd say that's worth celebrating. I'm beat. Sure, I fell asleep. Well, then it's just as I thought. While you're asleep, our connection is much stronger. You wield your magic with ever more confidence. Splendid. As I mentioned previously, the archetype grows and develops anew through encounters with others. Look for those bearing the nobility and presence of the heroes and kings of old. More virtuous than the weight of any crown or medal is the burden you place on your own path forward. The more comrades and supporters who stand beside you, the more your power will deepen as you soar to new heights. One day, if the people join hands and seize the freedom to decide their own future with their own power just as you do, that is my ideal world. Hold on. What do you mean, supporters? We're trying to keep out of the public eye here. I mentioned before, did I not? There is no hero without allies, only a single voice in opposition. In other words, even archetypes have their own strengths and weaknesses. They'll be of little use if used thoughtlessly. Life and death are seconds apart on the battlefield. Be attentive, mindful, and strategic. Only then can you emerge victorious. When you feel unsure how to proceed, I recommend you stop Assess your surroundings and think. The smallest observation is often our greatest inspiration. Well, it's almost dawn. I will be watching with great anticipation. Until we meet again. The royal funeral draws ever closer. Four days remain. Mm, let's go. Great. Escaping the dragons to... The royal funeral draws ever closer. Two days remain. Finally, we found a ride. Looks like we should make it in time for the funeral after all. Last time we rode in a public carriage, it was hit by bandits. A pack of Louise zealots, too, if I remember. Talk about a nasty surprise. You've come a ways since then. Any bandits who sit on us now are in for a nasty surprise. Reminds me of the road to the fort, sitting there in the cart. Never could have imagined you and I would be the only survivors. Strange. How fast life can change. We both did well to make it out. Yes, we certainly did. The last couple days have certainly been eventful. Almost feels like everything we thought we knew about the world was wrong. Well, plenty of people live their lives without taking a single step outside their city. But we haven't the luxury of ignorance, I suppose. We're almost to the capital. Quiet now, and stay sharp. Milady, welcome back, and thank you for making the trip. After so long, I am only surprised anyone remained here who yet remembered me. Surely you jest, Milady. Pay me no mind. I heard of the King's death. The skyline is full of unfamiliar figures. It is a testament to how long I've been away. It's the guard that's changed the most. There's just chaos and politics there, arguing over matters of succession. 
Feels like we've lost sight of who we're even protecting. Not to mention talk of monsters at the border. We've nowhere near enough soldiers to deal with them on top of everything else. After tomorrow, the city will calm. Once the formality of the funeral is passed, a new king will be crowned. After which, I suppose there'll be no further need of a search party. Not many even remember we were searching in the first place. The royal funeral draws ever closer. One day remains. Escaping the Nord Mines, the party hailed a horse-drawn coach and returns now to Grand Trad, capital of Ukronia, the day before the royal funeral. As they gaze upon the city, flags of mourning fluttering in the wind, the magnitude of their mission exacts its toll on the heart. Fog's rolling in. Rain's the last thing we need. Can this funeral withstand more misfortune? I've heard they don't have enough soldiers to keep the peace. Now oh, it'll be fine. All the aristocrats are bringing their own personal guards. I imagine boredom's the worst we need to worry about. Let's not draw attention to ourselves. There's a hostelry tucked at the back of Sunshade Row, the hushed honeybee inn. We'll talk details once we're there. Here we go. That's terribly unfair. Just pathetic. Look, I don't give a toss who's king. I just want some coin. Mm. on this street looks pretty rough. What is it? Watch out for pick up this place. Got it. You're back. Papa, welcome home. Well, hello, my Maria. I trust you've been staying out of trouble. These are, well, new recruits. Just enlisted. So young. It's good to meet you. I'm Fabian. This inn is my business and my home. Manners, Maria. Um, welcome. Hey! I'm wasting away over here. Where's my order? Maria, could you handle that? Yes, right away. You're back sooner than I thought. Something happened. Something bad. Barely any survivors. I see. I didn't know Grius had a daughter. I know I've already asked so much of you, but would you mind looking after Maria a little while longer? Of course. It wouldn't be the honeybee without her. Now, as for the rest of you, after braving the frontiers with this curmudgeon, I'm sure you would welcome a warm supper. Once we're done, we'll head upstairs. Mm. Oh, 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 spicy. I can't feel my tongue. Oh, pipe down and eat, boy. That was delicious, especially the meat. I wasn't expecting it to have such a kick, but it grows on you fast. Red grass roasted beedle. Bird meat. One of her hometown specialities. <sighs> She's risked a lot to shelter me. And to help the resistance. I owe her more than I can say. You said we were short-handed, but are we really the only ones? I know we've plenty of independent agents fighting in their own ways, but it seems none could avail themselves to us, which means we're the only ones who can do this. Still killing Luis. That's not going to be an easy feat. Grius, do you have a plan? Fill us in. Midway through the funeral, 
in broad daylight. That's insane. It's risky, to be sure, but we'll never find a better chance at confronting the man directly. Don't worry. I'll be the only one getting close to him. I'll need you to draw Luis's attention from a different location. All I need is an opening. And don't rely on your fancy powers for this, all right? It'll attract too much attention. Killing a man and slaying a beast are two very different things. This is all I need. You're joking. You and that kitchen knife against an archmage. Isn't there anything we can do to help? No, you're just getting the way. Besides, this kitchen knife can slit his throat like the swine he is. A fast kill, if not a clean one. It's nothing I've not done before. Give me my opening, and the man's dead. All right. Not much of a choice, I suppose. One last thing. Keep Maria company a while, would you? The girl gets lonely on her own. Aren't you at least going to tuck her in? You've got to prepare tonight. Too much still needs doing. And best that it's done as far from her as possible. And there's his fatherly side, I suppose. Sorry, but I'm going to bed early. I need a full night's rest if I don't want to be a liability. Well, we've all been short on time to ourselves, but I'd feel bad leaving Maria all alone. Shall we go check in on her? At least? Look at that. Did you need something? I was thinking we could play a game. Play a game? But it's already night time. Oh, I just remembered. Papa said you have a strange book, and that I should ask to see it. You like books, huh? Well, I haven't ever seen one before, so I was wondering what they're like. Want to read it together? Really? Oh, but I still have work to do. Don't worry, Maria. I can handle this crowd. You have fun reading upstairs. Really? Yes. You did a very good job today. Let's read then. There's so many pictures. Are all books like this? Miss Fabienne taught me how to read a little. She said it helps with keeping the inn running. Do you help out every day? Mm-hmm. It's lots and lots of work, but it's fun too. Plus, I like when people say I'm clever, so I've got to work really, really hard. Papa always says not to go into his room, so I wait for him a lot. I'm good at waiting. You're a strong girl, Maria. I know Papa's always busy with work, but I'm happy when he comes home. Thank you. It was fun talking to you. <laughs> Glad to hear it. Will you play with me again sometime? 
Then it's a promise. You're helping Papa with his job, aren't you? So, be safe. I've heard his job can be really dangerous. <laughs> the pure-hearted maiden, Maria. Within her dwells the virtue of the healer. Nurture thy bond with her, and a new power yet slumbering within thee may awaken. Thank you. I wonder if Papa will stay for longer this time. It'd be sad if he had to leave right away. I'll ask him to stay. Okay. I think I'll try to read a little bit more, and then I'll go find Miss Fabian and go to bed. All right. I'll try to read this part now. Um, in this country, the in, in, the something king hears the voices of the city and protects their way of life. Um, what's this say? Society's purpose is to protect its citizens. This is a basic principle of this utopia. All are equal, all live in safety, and the rich and poor are as one, with no gaps, no conflict. All are friends, deserving of help. Basically, it's a place where there's no fighting, and everyone always gets along. Wow. Where is this place? No one gets left alone there, right? I wish I could go. Can I read a little more? Um, we're probably not going to bed anytime soon. As dawn breaks, so begins the procession to the Grand Cathedral. The King's Casket has left the castle. The procession will take the main streets to its destination, the Grand Cathedral. I'll have you blend in with the guards posted there. On my mark, you'll create a distraction. Draw Luis's attention. What, with the soldiers? But our uniforms are... I had Fabienne patch them up. In the state they were in? <laughs> that must have taken all night. Let me see. Thanks for keeping Maria company yesterday. I'd appreciate if it wasn't the last time. Don't worry. I'll handle it. I appreciate it. The girl just... has trouble making friends is all. We're going to split up as soon as we leave. At the Grand Cathedral, we'll pose as guards to cause a commotion. I leave the rest to you. I'll see to everything here. Don't worry. Papa? I'll be back tonight. Be a good girl while I'm gone, eh? Hmm. Everything will be fine. Right. Once we're back, let's all have dinner together. Yes, please. Be careful. See you soon. Once it's over, we'll regroup back here at night. I'm counting on you. We'll do our best. Right then. Let's get ourselves ready, then head for the Grand Cathedral. Let's go. Oh. All right then. Oh. That reminds me. What is it? Oh. Yeah. Now, where will... Oh. Hmm. 
well. What? All right. This one's important. Please. Yeah. I've been waiting. New possibilities. It's time. What now? <sighs> oh, are you... What am I supposed to do here? Sod off. You've come at a... Hmm. That isn't th looking to set. Now then. Yeah. Lots of lords and nobles. Some generals, too. All the big names are here. Can you see Grius? Hmm. Huh. I can pick him out. Although I don't see Luis around. Oh. Look there! What is this? Isn't that the flower straight from the king's garden? And a common-blooded man bearing them to a funeral? Does the man know no shame? That's tantamount to declaring himself royalty! You barbarian! Your fool of a king is dead! <sighs> Disillusioned by vain aristocrats and simpering clergy, he withered and died under his own weakness. The audacity! How can he say that? This is madness! At the king's own funeral! Lord Louis speaks true! The nobles are to blame! Name the guilty! A 
but open your eyes and you will see the crisis in our nation. I will show you truth, the truth of reality. You've all been sheltered, blinded by walls of stone. Behold a human corpse. They are no mere rumor. They lurk and nest across the very land you call home. A fortress at the border was raised by a human mere days ago. How long before we're overrun? You can only blame your king's weakness. And thus, who deserves his crown? A man of proven strength! How dare you, scoundrel! Your words verge on treason! Against what ruler, Blue Blood? The dead cannot be betrayed. Oh. Let your late King Saul bear witness. Let Louis Squeerburn be named the true and rightful ruler of Ucronia! <laughs> <laughs> Hey, what are we? What? What's happening? Such power. It can't be. The palace! And I shall provide. <laughs> Did he just say he's Lodius the Fifth? That face? It can't be. His Majesty, the King. How? Is it him? He was dead. Why? Be silent. Let him say his peace. Heed me, O Kingless. Time is finite before my soul departs this benighted world. In four moons of life past death, there shall come a reckoning, a day of the hero. Upon that day, whosoever hath truly earned the greatest faith of the citizenry shall ascend to throne and crown by right of kings. By right of kings? The faith of the citizenry? Truly. From the lofty heaven shall my unfading soul look down upon thee, and from the whispered hopes of thine anxious hearts shall those to whom thine allegiances lie be laid bare. Ah! What's happening? <laughs> I hear thy voices ring out in clarion truth. Here and now, witness the faces of those most desired to become king. It's Forden. Count Louise! Count Louise is there too! They're all candidates. Ah, what glorious spectacle! The mantle of king is mine by right and providence. You go too far, Louise. We gather to mourn his majesty, and you desecrate it. You would befoul the throne, blackguard. <laughs> so be it. Shall we test that? Good people, is Forden truly fit to be king? Or shall you cast off the shackles of blind faith? We need not be chained to birth or tribe. In my world, we are a people equal and united. I shall be your shield from the human menace 
Together, peace is within our grasp. When my village burned, the church did nothing. There's no way we can fight those monsters alone. And those of us in bonds? Will we too be protected? Don't be fooled! He's not the man you think he is! Hey, look! Come, Luis! He's catching up to Borden! Can the giant thing really see what we're thinking? Luis, you've led the people's hearts astray! No future exists without the power to eliminate the human crisis! Those who stand at my side, who oppose the powers that be, my protection is yours! Or refuse my hand and perish. I will lead us over your corpses. You mean, just as you killed the king? A country is heavier than a crown, and he could not bear it. Retribution passed due. You vile! He cares nothing for the blood on his hands. Damn you, Luis! You think you truly deserve the crown? You doom us all! I won't stand for it! Hey, who are you? Silence him! A Kingslayer deserves only death! A Friar! Hey! Yes, good! You need to go too. Where's Grius? I shall not suffer the defiance of my people's will. In my name art thou punished. Punished? Impressive. One of the royal family's dog. Rather poetic, I suppose. See how he is rewarded for your loyalty. I warned you, this is the price of defiance. Though I hadn't expected the king's own magic on my side. So be it. Rally behind me. I will shield you from injustice. Rise above birth and circumstance, for they mean nothing! Count Luis is our only what hope! What choice do we have? He'll kill any against oh God. Not much of a choice. Upon the day of the hero, whosoever has most earned my people's faith, shall ascend upon my throne to rule. According to my judgment, be thou criminal, pauper, or noble, thy claim is decided not by stature or tribe. I shall bear witness. From this heavenly seat I am nigh omnipotent. Look to the faces carved upon this rock, and see thou the faces of the Chosen. I shall brook no sabotage or obstruction of this trial. Let all hear me and obey. Stay damned! <laughs> Hey, Grius! Grius! Damn it! Luis! <gasps> Alsis. The sun sets on old fossils. It is a new dawn, and its light shines upon Lord Luis as king. Stand down! Damned meddlers. So your wish is to die, is it? Your bones will be monuments to Lord Luis's glory! Yeah! No. 
He defiles the dead! Ah, but Lord Luis has sent me here on an important errand. What errand? It seems I'll need considerable time to accumulate the magla. Until it's done, however, I'm afraid I'll have to borrow the cathedral. The day the King's morning ends will become the day of calamity. If you mean to interfere, then die. Stand strong! The souls of the dead do not return. He manipulates them as puppets with foul magic! Brace yourselves, everyone! <sighs> What is this? What the hell is this? Stroll, get a hold of yourself. We've got company. <laughs> Keep it together. Got to stay calm. Calm. Damn it, I can't focus. Sorry about that. I'll be all right. Here they come. Brace yourselves. Stepping back! This is terrible. The power of healing. Let's go! Flare! I... I can't. To the floor! down in one fell swoop! Uh On the defensive. Let's stay calm. Healer! Now, what's the play? I'll hold my ground! <laughs> Healer! That'll do. I shall rise to the occasion. Where'd that man go? Did he take soldiers into the cathedral? There should be a mausoleum nearby. Could you take his body there? Yes, right away. Take care with him, please. He was a dear friend. He gave his all for the king. For the royal bloodline. The least he deserves is dignity and death. My name is Hulkenberg. I have a question for you. That power you wield is not something they teach in the army. You are no ordinary soldier. And you? You're clearly more than a guard, Captain. I am a knight in the Crown's service. Commanding the guard is not my station's duty, but... These are dire times. A knight? And you pretend at soldiery. But that matter can wait. Alsace seemed to know you. Who is Alsace? We'll have time for debate after we apprehend that mage. He's after the Royal Scepter, I'm sure of it. The Royal Scepter? Please, someone, help! Please help. I've still got family inside. Did he trap civilians in the cathedral? Yes, my family and more. I don't envy their chances if he finds them helpless. I am honor-bound as a knight to answer that plea. I would ask your aid as well, if you might give it. Does it not tarnish the royal knights to enlist the aid of strangers? I haven't the luxury of refusing able fighters. If I turn back here, I'd never be able to face Grius. Any objections, my friend? None that would stop you, I expect. Do you know me so well already? Let's just watch out for those accursed skeletons. Gotta hurry. Over here! <sighs> oh, God. Over here! 
This is bad. Okay. Ah. They ah. saw us. Ah. On your team. Right. Okay, okay. let's settle this quick. Give us all we've got. Understood. I'll go through remaining. Light. Stay sharp. It's not over yet. They die hard. Only one left. Finish the ah. job. We're clear. What a finale. Keep your energy up, everyone. Now that, I feel stronger. I'll give it my old battle battle. Let's wrap this up. Let's get ready. Not bad. Understood. I'll go tougher than I thought. Smooth finish. Great work, everyone. That was the last of it. This place is that Magla, and in a building like this, it's just like in the abandoned mines. What was that sound? Brace yourselves, it's collapsing. Look, the entrance. Damn it! Now, how are we supposed to get inside? We'll not be getting in this way. That collapse was no accident. He means to hold our advance. Best to seek another way. And I have a plan to do it. A plan's more than I have. Right. Lead the way. Before we go any further, I would have my answers. We must speak of the man Luis executed. So, were you a friend to Grius? Yes. 
I knew him as Alces, Arvi Alces. He'd been engaged as a tutor to His Royal Highness, teaching him swordsmanship at the King's behest. I see. Yes. Well, it was back when I myself was serving as one of His Highness's personal guards. You're a personal guard for the Prince. I was. Now he is lost to me. Which brings me to the heart of my concern. I hope you can give me the answer I seek. Why were you trying to kill Luis? Well... Revenge. The assassination is for His Highness. To avenge his death. Revenge? Not just for the Prince. Luis killed the King as well. Alsace was a calculating man. Callous, where softer hearts falter. He was not some wild-eyed revolutionary, driven by petty emotion. Why would such a man sacrifice all in the name of revenge? Who knows? Is that all you wanted to know, then? If nothing else, you were friends of Alsace. Once more, I would humbly request your blades at my side. I'd think you'd find surer allies among the Guard. You saw for yourself their failings today. A legion may be easily divided. A squad of few elites, however, moves as one. I'll have us into the Grand Cathedral. I know the way. Will you assist me? Naturally. How about you? Of course. Right. Not much point in asking, really. all the mess at the king's funeral. Our, our country's doomed, isn't it? Pretty chaotic here. With good reason. I was there, and even I struggled to grasp the situation. <sighs> oh, you're back. Have you seen Maria? Maria? She's missing. She heard the commotion and ran off. She can't have gotten far. Oi, Fabien, we found Maria. Maria! Don't move her. She suffered a blow to the head. She must have been caught in the wave of people fleeing. Poor girl. She's unconscious, but I don't believe it's life-threatening. Oh, but he'll... He'll be along soon, won't he? He's... I'm sorry. I was... prepared for the worst, but... Oh... Damn it. Fabienne is taking care of Maria. Sounds like she'll have to stay put and rest for a while. Are there people still left inside? Most of the soldiers sent in to help haven't returned. I expect Luis's forces made short work of them. No one's sure if that human's corpse is safe either, so it's just been left to rot. Underground, there is a mausoleum where the dead are interred. It opens to the Grand Cathedral on the other side. And we can trust your word, can we? How do we even get into this mausoleum? There's a gate just beside the recruitment center. We'll make our way in from there. Right. Let's hurry.
What's going on? We can't get through the door. Strange as he is, that <laughs> pale fellow's magic works. Good for rooting out the rats. That blasted mage set a trap. Not surprising. We knew he was expecting us. <laughs> and you still fell for it. At least you'll be in good company. What? I can't be. No way. Is this the price of my failure, then? The prince. For having lost him, you too would abandon me. Why did you leave me alone in the dark when you escaped with his highness? I have sought him for so many years to no avail. And now, I... <laughs> the one to send me to him now. Get up! Fight! I'm sorry. Please forgive me. No! You have it wrong! <laughs> the prince is alive! Hey! He's right. We do hunt Luis, but not for revenge. We mean to lift the prince's curse! <gasps> is that true? His highness is... still... Yes, he lives. So you have to keep fighting! <sighs> you mean... If that's true, then I... O oh, Lodestar, who wanders in solemn duty, O oh, thou anguished traveler, Thy long stagnant stance hath finally been broken. Now choose thy path. Give me my new calling, transcending all odds. I choose life of my own will! Thank you. Thou hast chosen a noble parting. Henceforth, thy fears and insecurities become thy light. Thou art the brilliant star that shall illuminate the King's Road. Now, awaken. My name is Aislinn Bocelli, Major Hulkenberg. I am knight, I am commander, and last of the honor guard! Once more, I take up arms in my liege's name! Alsis. I will see you freed. For the liege I am sworn to, in his royal name, with this power, I shall open the way! Alces, tis almost finished. I'm sensing a huge surge of power. Hang on, it almost seems like... the two archetypes are resonating with each other. A 
after me! Not the right move. Warrior! Oh. Let's stay calm. Sworn oaths of behold, we stand together. No, nope, not this night. I stand waiting. I shall fight to a warrior. Is that all? Let's go all in. And Maria's home. I leave them in your hands. We'll do as you ask, friend. I swear it. Rubble don't bad at all. I shall rise to the occasion. Rest now, Alsace. We will protect Maria and his royal highness. Oh, isn't this crystal just like what we saw in the abandoned mine? It gives me the same nasty feeling. Come on, let's just destroy it. First he wakes the dead, and now this bizarre object. This man is dangerous and must be stopped. You said you were a royal knight, didn't you? Were you there, on the night the prince was attacked? Yes, though I was the least among the order then. We saw his highness afflicted with a horrific curse. But soon after, he mysteriously vanished. Alsace was one of his highness's closest confidants when he disappeared. I'd wondered if they were both lost to us. But I could see it when we told you the truth. You believed the prince was alive, didn't you? I'd left my post to wander the land. A search party, at least in intent. News of the King's demise brought me back. Thence, we met. Now, onward. <sighs> tis nothing. Let us go. Don't tis nothing me. You took a hard hit early on. Let's head back for now. But... <sighs> We've come this far, so he'll be looking to buy time. It's just as you advised before. We can't rush in if we're to see this through. What say you? We can withdraw for now, right? Yes. We should... I'll trust your judgment. Homeward, then. Ah, you're just in time. Maria's awake. She's not hurt too badly, but she's locked up in her room and won't come out. I told her that her father wouldn't be coming home. So she knows. Oh, I should say, I found a note in his belongings. Meant for you all, I'm sure. It said, if there's anything left that could serve you, take it. I left his belongings in his room, so you're free to have a look. Now that you're here, I'll go check on her one more time. Try to rest, and I'll be back shortly. Damn you, Luis. Can I assume you're still dedicated to the mission? Mission? Killing Luis to lift the prince's curse. We've lost a lot already. We can't afford to give up after one failure. Don't worry. I've no intention of giving up now. What do you think? Are you going after Luis? Of course I am. Yes. Someone has to bring the bastard to justice. You saw what would happen under his rule. We can't just let him doom this country. Thus do you seek Luis's death. Knowing the truth, may I join your cause? I heard of your trials at the fort, and considering all I've seen and heard, Luis clearly aims to seize the throne. Allow me to lend my blade. Even if we can put the man down, if we can't save the heir to the throne, it would be all for naught. Until the day his highness, the prince's life is saved. I will fight through all obstacles. We'd be happy to have you. 
But are you sure? It is but another leg on my own long journey, and now I may travel in good company. What say you? We'd welcome you, gladly. Truly? Thank you. I shall strive to protect you, as you saved me. Seems a bit redundant to say after all you've done for us, but we're glad to have you. Leave it to me. Then let us be bound in both purpose and trust. My life is your shield, and my blade is your strength. The steadfast vassal, Hulkenberg. Within her dwells the virtue of the night. Nurture thy bond with her, and a new power yet slumbering within thee may awaken. life upon it. Oh! Now that she's part of the team, we ought to show her. Here. This is the prince. He's been asleep for a long, long time. <sighs> His royal highness. He's stable. But unless we can do something about that curse, He's finished. That mage could be the key to this. I couldn't guess what he aims to accomplish, but if we can capture him, he could lead us straight to Luis. Doubtless he seeks the royal scepter. Tis enshrined in a chamber in the cathedral under a powerful warding seal. Such magic would likely take days of concentration to dispel, even with powers to do so. You figure that's why he said we've got until the morning period ends? If it's true, we still have some days until the morning ends. Leaves us a little time to spare. But what did he mean when he told us to wait for the Day of Calamity? Just an ominous name for the day he grabs the scepter? He can tell us himself at the end of a sword. The innkeeper's given her blessing, so we'll use this place as our headquarters for now. Yeah, probably for the best. It's already gotten late today. So let's reconvene here tomorrow. Do you feel responsible for Grius and Maria? Of course I do. That's not your burden to bear alone, okay? I don't make much of a guide, do I? I can't even get proper directions. God, I wish I wasn't so useless. Now you're the one overthinking things. You're right. This isn't like me, is it? Sorry, my grief is getting the better of me. But I've got to shape up. Grius gave his life for that mission. We can't let him down. Let's figure it out as a team, all right? I'll do whatever I can. Gotta focus on the here and now. No well? You should get some rest tonight in preparation for tomorrow. Let's rest. Really? What exactly do you have against sleep? I saw it all unfold. An ally became a friend, and he awakened to your power. But his path was cut short. It is all too easy to forget the fragility of life, until the tragedy of its loss. Yet, I feel his efforts were not in vain. He never turned from his fears and worries unflinching to the last. Just as the lives of old heroes are passed down through their tales, so too will his heart. You have inherited the story of an unsung revolutionary and all its power. Yet be warned, such power rarely awakens without trials. Even should you overcome them, your virtues will be tested, time and time again. You must carry on. 
honing your archetypes and heart with painful sincerity. That is the first step towards changing the world. I have faith in you. Ah, forgive me. There's one more important thing. You can visit as long as you have the calm and time to open a book. But when threats lurk nearby, we may not always have the luxury of attention undivided. And danger is an inconvenience so often encountered, of course. As such. A smart-looking fellow, isn't he? There's a special magic igniter embedded in his collar, too. Much as I'd like to join you in person, I cannot. I can, however, send his consciousness in my place. If you see him in places of battle, do stop to pet him, won't you? You'll find him a most helpful companion. If you would survive the trials to come, think not only of the powers you know, but how they might be combined. Now, until we meet again. What? Time marches on, and the age of a new king draws nearer. Sorry. Think nothing of it. Yeah. All good. Yeah. Hmm. True. Hmm? For real. Let's focus. Congratulations on your progress thus far. What you've experienced is merely the prologue of metaphor. The true journey is finally at hand. We should go. What's happened? Let us hurry. before us? Of all the places. Do you lot thought it was safe to come this way? This really isn't the time to pay your respects. No easy way to say it, but this place... I don't know, it ain't right. There's dead folk shambling about. And that's after I cleaned house. Don't say I didn't warn you, eh? I'm off then. Wait. Is it your intention to enter the Grand Cathedral? How do you know it connects down here? Because we're the ones who cleared the path. But I assume we'll meet more resistance inside. I beg your pardon, but are you not injured? Shouldn't you consider turning back? Oh, I'm sorry, boss. Did I need your permission? I've got my own reasons. At the very least, you need to stop and get those wounds treated. I can't do that. My friend's trapped in there. And the soldier that went in to rescue her hasn't come back. I can't just sit and do nothing. Can we find your friend for you? Hey, wait. Before you go making promises like that. No, now that we know about this, we must act to save these people. What's your game exactly? We simply won't stand by and let someone in your condition walk into peril. I don't believe you. You're hiding something. Some other reason you're willing to help a parapus. 
Believe what you like, but we're going to the top of the cathedral regardless. Is it not the wiser course to let us do as we've promised than to risk your life charging ahead? Fine. Even I can see sense in that. My friend's a parapus girl, about my age, with a yellow flower pin in her black hair. You'll know her when you see her. If you bring her back safe, I'll repay you. I swear. This one's important. If so, <laughs> then well, well. Ah, how good of you to come. Fascinating. This, all right? I'm counting up. Of course. Real. New skills, new possibilities. Power coursing through me. Huh. What? Yeesh. Yeah. 
Onward. Thank you. No. Look at her ears. Hey, wait! Sorry I'm late. Thanks. Guess I ought to come clean. I tried, I really did. I couldn't just stand around. And you lot cleared the path so well besides. So this is all I have right now, but... Give me a little time, would you? I've got a bounty I'm after that'll be paying big. You collect bounties? What? You joking? You only help me because you recognize me, yeah? You really don't know. I'm Katharina, the bounty hunter. And you just helped a parapus without expecting anything in return. <laughs> Doesn't that just take the cake? Why are you so surprised? You're asking... I'll tell you, though. I gave her that hair clip gift to say congrats for getting hired under some rich baron. Things went belly up and she got that baron to safety, but didn't make it out herself. And when he heard the news, do you know what he did? He laughed. Said even a parapus could be useful once in a while. Some people are terrible. Isn't it? Oh, I thought so too. A world like that? I'd tear it down with my own two hands if I could. People are suffering. And all these bastards can do is shrug and carry on. I couldn't have said it better. Right. I can see as much in your eyes. Matter of fact, I see a lot in your eyes. You're cutting a path, and it's no small prize you're after. I don't know if we'll cross paths like this again, but... That's a promise. The loyal hunt no Here we go then. Let's see which of us changes the world first. Now, I'm gonna take catch you later. <laughs> Got it. Pushing forward. Stay pro <laughs> All right. Not bad. Ah, that. Isn't that? What do you think? Fascinating. Welcome. I see. Fascinate this, all right? Of course. I see. Oh. new power all right all right oh Hold our ground. 
That was the last of them. Enemies up ahead. We strike first. I see you. Let's get on with it. Go. Looks like that's all of them. Great job, everybody. At the end, then. <laughs> We've cleared the way. <sighs> Alright, how's that? You're gaining strength. They saw us! <laughs> Hold your cards, everyone! Dad? <laughs> that was brilliant. Let's make an end of it! Show them our luck! What a finale! Keep your energy up, everyone! Sad has acquired a new power. There is still danger here. Stay vigilant.
To hear. Who remaining? Flare! Just one left! Huh. Nice Not done yet! And that's that! Victory's ours! Not bad, if I say so myself.
I don't like that. <laughs> Very impressive. <laughs> All right, how's that? Impressive as ever. They saw us. On your toes, everyone. It's terrible. Look. need more than this. Is that all? Oh, please! Uh. Let's do this! Strike true! Uh. Oh, please! No holding back! Two remaining! Only two huh. enemies! Stay dark! Stay dark! Keep it going, Captain. The must feel heavy. Stop. We're in trouble. Oh. A tough one. than I thought. <laughs> As the note, that's what I wanted to hear. They die hard. Shatter. What a finale! Keep your energy up, everyone. Satisfactory, huh? I have never known such high victory as ours, <laughs> and safety <laughs> not one. If you see use for it, I say take it with you.
Watch out! Yeah. <laughs> 